Time is 6.52. Let's take a look at the six things you need to know before you go. And we do begin this morning in Brunswick, Georgia, where a father and son have been arrested, accused of murdering a jogger, Gregory and Travis McMichael, facing murder charges in the death of Ahmaud Aubrey. The father and son claim they thought Aubrey was a burglary suspect, and they were trying to make a citizen's arrest. Today would have been his birthday. Organizers are run making, having running events all across the country to include here locally. Augusta Judicial Circuit Juvenile Court Judge Doug Flanagan has passed away. He died at his home yesterday morning. He served for almost two decades as a strong advocate for youth and young adults. He would organize community forums, hoping to deter young youth from going down the wrong path. Judge Flanagan leaves behind a wife and two children. Today, Augusta Mayor Hardy Davis will give an update on how the city is handling COVID-19. Davis, along with other city and state officials, will hold that press conference at 1130. The mayor is also expected to share plans for the phases of reopening local government buildings. Augusta University is getting a big donation for its telehealth app. The $1 million donation, dollar donation is coming from the Peach Bowl organization. AU President Dr. Brooks Keel says that donation will make testing more readily available for all Georgians. Georgia state agencies have to make a 14% cut in their budget proposal for the 2021 fiscal year, which begins July 1st. Today, the University System of Georgia's Board of Regents will hold two meetings to discuss how they will make this happen. These mandatory cuts mean possible staffing reductions and furloughs. The directive came yesterday in response to revenue hits from COVID-19. Time now for your workday forecast. By 9 o'clock this morning, partly sunny and 53. By noon today, mostly cloudy. Temperature is cool at 70 and we will keep it also cooler than average by 5 today. Mostly cloudy and 76 degrees.